Hi again, everyone. Uncle Clinty here with <laughs> Stupid Piano Tricks. Um, it's 2022, and uh, um, uh, people have asked me about suspended chords. Suspended chords usually typically says like a you know, G7 sus. In classical composition classes, Typically, any note that hangs over from a previous chord to the next chord and is not part of that chord is the suspension. So let's take in the key of C, one chord, five chord, here's the D, which is in the G chord, it's the fifth of a G chord, right? Put the seven in there. And if I hold that D, D note over to the C chord, that's called a suspension. It's a note that existed in the previous chord that does not exist in the next chord, but is held over, usually resolves after the downbeat of the next chord. So again, here's a C, one chord. If I, here's the D, which is part of the G chord. It's the fifth of the G chord, one, three, five of a G chord. That note can be considered a suspension. Now, typically in jazz and popular music, suspensions typically are the fourth note of a chord. A suspended chord in C would be, here's why one, three, five in C. E is three, fourth is F. That's why they're also called four chord. C4, C4. Great sound, and it typically has a seven in it. And the, the signature sound of a suspended chord is the four, for the most part. Again, in classical music, it can be any note that hangs out from a previous chord longer than the downbeat of the next chord. Now, when we say sus chords, my beloved big brother Nick, who's no longer with us, guitar player, and when he would read chord charts in guitar books, he'd say, okay, uh, G sustained. Because it said G sus, G7 sus. Yeah, G7 sustained. No, it's, <laughs> I love you, Nick, but even I at the time didn't know. A sustained, what's a sustained chord? It's not a sustained chord. Although the note from the previous chord sustains over the next chord, it's not a sustained chord, it's a suspended chord. And again, typically in jazz and popular music, sus chord is typically uh, the three being suspended up. I think I told my classes, put, put the third on a pulley. Here's the third. Pull that rope on the, on the pulley and that third will be suspended up to the four. So, very basically, suspended chords have as a four, and it almost always has a dominant seven in it. So in the key of C, our five chord is G7, right? But, if, what if we s suspend the five chord. In other words, make it a G7 suspended chord. What are we going to do? We're going to take the third of that chord. Third of G7 is B. Move it up a half step to the fourth of the G chord. And that's the sound. So, very basically, when you see G7 sus, and it's typically notated like this, G7 sus, G, G, G4, G7, with parentheses four, there's lots of different ways to notate it. It's a suspended chord. And to, to me, nine times out of 10, when you see a suspended chord, it's almost always the third is suspended up to the fourth of the chord. Again, in the, in the, in the case of G7, and it's almost always the five chord, or a dominant chord. Five typically 
leads us to one. Here's five. The very basic harmony class, five always leads to one. In the key of C, two chord, D minor, seven, five chord, G7, but let's make it a sus chord. Take the third, move it up a half step to the suspension. And that's called a sus chord, G7 sus, very simply. Take the third of a dominant seven chord, C7. Which leads, it was his dominant chord of F. It's the five of F, right? Let's take a C7. Five seven in the key of F, one flat. Let's make the five chord, which in this case C. Now I've moved, taken the, instead of C7, we have C, C7 suspended. Suspended very simply is take the third of a dominant seven chord. Move it up a half step to the fourth of that dominant seven chord. Now chords typically do not have a third and a four. But I think that's pretty. 